Absence Management users can use the Absence Assistant tile to access the Absence Assistant chatbot for quick answers to queries and to perform simple transactions related to absences. The chatbot uses Oracle Digital Assistant on the Oracle Bot Technology platform. Start a conversation with a greeting like Hi. A standard menu displays. Tap View Absences. The latest five absences are displayed. You can view your absence details or cancel an absence request. Select more information to show more absences. Tap more requests to view more absences. Additional absence requests are displayed. The What Can I Do Next button appears at the end of every interaction. Tap Current Balances to view the available balances. Chatbot displays absence names you can choose from. Select Vacation to see the vacation balance. In this example, the vacation balance is around 669 hours. To create a leave, enter Want to take vacation leave tomorrow. You may be prompted for some details here. Select No for Attachments. Select Personal Time Off. Select No for Comments. Tap Yes to Confirm and your absence request will be submitted. This completes our demonstration of the Absence Management Chatbot feature. HCM Image 31 enables employees to initiate resignation or retirement for a single or multiple jobs through employee self-service. On the Employee Self-Service homepage, select the Personal Details tile to access the Personal Details page. Click the Related Actions button and then Job. The Job folder contains the Submit Resignation and Submit Retirement navigations. Click the Submit Resignation link. Then, enter the last working day and provide the reason for resignation and comments, if any. You can also attach supporting documents. Submit the resignation request to your manager for approval. Managers can approve, deny, or push back the resignation request. Use the Approval Status link to view the approval chain. Managers will use the Approvals tile to process the approval request. Use the Pending Approvals page to access approval requests and take further actions. The left panel displays different categories of approval requests. Select the Employee Resignation category to view the resignation requests from the employees. Select the request to approve. On the Employee Resignation page, view the resignation summary and take appropriate actions. Provide your comments and click Approve. Click Submit to route the request to the HR Administrator for approval. HR Administrators will also use the Approvals tile to process the approval request. Filter the resignation request to approve. You can drill down the request details and approve the request. Click Job Data to view employees' job data. Exception messages show you any errors that occurred while saving the transaction details. Click Approve to approve the request. Use the Approval Actions modal window to update an employee's job data automatically or manually. Click Done. This completes our demonstration of the Employee Self-Termination feature. You can now track and show HR managers for your employees using the Business Partner feature. PeopleSoft HCM Update Image 31 delivers a managed business partner's navigation collection that gives you quick access to all the functionality needed to create and maintain business partner teams. You'll use Matrix Teams and optionally group build functionality to create and maintain business partner teams. The View Teams page will display any business partner teams you have already configured where you are the owner or lead. Business partners can perform actions for their team members based on the team definition. For example, when configured, HR business partners can perform salary changes for their team members. To have business partner information appear on team members' records, access the Configure Business Partner page and using the Matrix Team ID, 
identify the business partner type, and display parameters. You can choose to show the business partner owner an alternate contact, such as generic department contact information, or you can choose not to display the business partner team for any of the members. If you've selected to show the business partner information on either the company directory or personal details pages, the business partner tab will appear for those team members on those pages. This completes our discussion of the HR Business Partners feature. With HCM Image 31, managers and administrators using Employee Snapshot have access to new development and development history tiles and pages on the Summary and Performance Review dashboards. Much like performance history, you'll be able to view multiple development document types for an employee, if available, and the system is set up to display multiple documents. To identify which documents the system should display, administrators will use the Enhanced Configure Employee Snapshot Document History page. Administrators can configure the system to display one or several development document types, only those specified here will be available through Employee Snapshot. This completes our demonstration of the Development Documents for Employee Snapshot feature. The Extended Absence Self-Service feature allows employees to create and maintain extended absence requests using Fluid. Employees can create new requests enter employee eligibility information, and attach related documents in the form of an activity guide. Employees can also review approved extended absences. The Request Extended Absence page lists existing extended absences. Add a new extended absence. Select an absence type and absence take to launch the activity guide. This activity guide lists the steps for the extended absence process in the left panel to help you complete the request. The Absence Information step contains general absence fields that are needed to submit an extended absence. Save the information and go to the next step. Enter the eligibility criteria and information in the FMLA Eligibility step and validate the sections. Fields on this page are populated depending on the configuration set for the eligibility criteria. The template used to create this activity guide determines the availability of this step. You can add attachment and notes to the absence request, review the data entered, and submit the extended absence request in the Review and Submit step. The pages shown in the activity guide depend on the configuration of the absence take. To add a child request to an existing extended absence, open an extended absence that has been approved. You can view the individual absence requests that were made under the extended absence request. Use the Add Absence button to add another absence request. Here, you can see the Save Child Absence for SICK. This completes our demonstration of the Fluid Extended Absence Self-Service feature. The Activity Guide Composer now enables you to create templates that allow multiple users to complete different steps within a process. The Categories component includes new pages that enable you to identify those you can assign to a step and to enable notifications for this category. From the Template Setup pages, use the Configure Attributes page to indicate the assignee for a step. You can also create tiles for assignees for easy access to an activity guide type. When you initiate an activity guide, the steps you are assigned to complete appear as available in the left navigation. However, those steps that are assigned to another person are unavailable. In this scenario, once an employee completes the I-9 step, his manager is notified that a step is ready to complete in the Activity Guide. Because you created a tile using the Activity Guide Composer Activity Guide Tiles component, the manager is easily able to access Activity Guides to complete the assigned steps. Select which process you want to access, and the system takes you to the first step you need to complete. 
Notice that only the step or steps assigned to you are available. You can now update your step and mark it complete. This completes our demonstration of the Activity Guide Composer Multi-User Guides feature. Profile management includes additional security options when setting up the profile type content sections. You no longer need to treat all employees the same. With the addition of PeopleTools roles, you can give a subset of your employee population access to a profile type content section. For example, if you want to allow certain employees update privileges and others view only capabilities, you can now define that as a role and assign the roles to the employee population as desired. In this example, with the Employee Profile All role, you can update your profile by adding new competency items, as well as update or delete existing items. However, with the Employee Profile Limited role, you can only view the competency content. You don't have permission to add a new item or make changes to existing data. This page is now display only and doesn't allow updates. If you don't have either of the previously mentioned roles, this content section would not even appear in the profile pages. This completes our demonstration of the Enhanced Security for Profile Management feature. Administrators can create compensation cycles just for variable compensation. This enhancement complements the existing functionality that allows the creation of cycles for merit plans only, or merit and variable compensation plans. This allows variable compensation only cycles to be accessed by managers through the Allocate Compensation Self-Service pages. When you create a cycle for variable compensation only, the system automatically hides the setup options for merit plans from the cycle definition. Merit plan elements are also hidden when administrators review cycle transactions or when managers submit compensation proposals for cycles that include variable compensation only. This completes our discussion of the Compensation Cycle for Variable Compensation feature. The Leaving Compensation Balance feature includes a new tile for leaving compensation time for increased visibility. The Leave Comp Time Tile is available for employee self-service for all form factors. The Leave Comp Time page shows leaves administered in base benefits and comp time administered in time and labor. This completes our discussion of the Leave and Compensation Balance feature. ePerformance adds enhancements to the auto transfer feature, which transfers in progress documents automatically when managers are terminated. Administrators can now set up this feature to support either all or a list of selected document types. On the Auto Document Transfer Status page, administrators can look up documents by transfer status, delete document rows that are completed and don't need further action, and transfer document rows to selected managers manually. This completes our discussion of the ePerformance Auto Transfer Document Enhancements. On the Site Setup page for recruiting, you can now use the Acknowledgement Framework to configure an acknowledgement to be displayed to candidates when registering. Administrators can also configure pre-qualification and multiple application agreements for candidates applying for jobs. The Acknowledgement Framework provides more flexibility than the original consent agreement, including audit trails. This completes our discussion of the Acknowledgement Framework in Candidate Gateway feature. Administrators can easily access employees' reported time audit with the newly introduced Time and Labor Tile under Workforce Administration. You can search the employee's data for a selected start and end date on the reported time audit page. 
Use the Get Rows button to populate the audit information. The page lists the current value by default. By using the Expand All History Rows slider, you can expand or collapse the history changes. You can review the information using the tabs available on the page. The Audit History column shows if there are historical rows of data associated to the current row that is showing. This completes our discussion of the Fluid Reported Time Audit feature. PeopleSoft HCM continues to expand the footprint of drop zones in its applications, enabling you to add text, links, or editable fields to pages without impacting future upgrades. In Image 31, HCM delivers drop zones for fluid pages in applications or features listed in this slide. Refer to the HCM Application Fundamentals documentation for a complete list of components that we deliver enabled with drop zones. This completes our discussion of drop zones for HCM. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on my Oracle support, and go to the PeopleSoft information portal for updates.